With travel costs sky high right now, more and more people are opting for a staycation. Our Griffin Wright joins us live this morning in studio with the creative ways people are finding to vacation without leaving the state. Hi, Griffin. Hi, Jody. So, staycations really got really popular during the pandemic. And during the pandemic, 50 to 60 percent of travel in Iowa was by Iowans exploring their own backyards. Well, like you said earlier, with travel costs skyrocketing, more people are looking for local getaways. Luckily, there are a lot of hidden gems Iowa has to offer. Travel Iowa is part of the Iowa Economic Development Authority. Essentially, they work to promote tourism in the state, and they have seen a lot of ways Iowans have got creative with staycations. There are destination trips like going to Okaboji for a lakefront getaway or touring breweries in Decorah. And of course, tons of Iowans have taken advantage of the state parks in Iowa. Travel Iowa has a travel map on their website where you can see popular destinations in each area of the state. They also have digital travel passports that provide coupons and discounts for tons of different travel options all over the state. The DNR also launched digital travel passports for outdoor activities. And for people looking for a more local staycation option, there's a lot to do right here around the metro. Winterset and Madison County um, are really, really, it's one of my favorite destinations in central Iowa, um, just to kind of go and explore. And I know they're really, um, with the storms earlier this spring, um, they're really back and open for tourism. They're ready and willing to have people come and visit them again. Uh, I love Pella um, for just kind of a downtown exploration, lots of great shops and restaurants there. Uh, the Boone and Scenic Valley Railroad is another one. And when it comes to the future of tourism in Iowa, the governor allocated $100 million for the Destination Iowa program. And that program basically is going to be providing a lot of money for infrastructure and different tourism spots all over the state to really kind of revamp Iowa's tourism. And it's already a good place to go visit and tour around, and we're just going to get more of that. Yeah, so you're from Iowa, Griffin. Do you have a favorite tourism spot? You know, I would say one of my favorite spots that's close to the metro, at uh -huh. least, would be High Trestle Trail. I, yeah. I love going up there. It's a nice, you know, not too far, half an hour drive maybe, and then, you know, easy hour-long walk to the bridge, take some pictures, head on back. It's, it's a good day trip. And we know that you like to bike. Oh, definitely. Well, the biking trails here are fantastic, you know, all over the place. Uh, I've, so my, a lot of my friends have got bikes, so they've basically, we will go together and mm -hmm. brewery tour downtown. Yeah, yeah, that's fun too. All right. Thanks so much for that story, Griffin.